Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paloma. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. So as you can see from the title, today I'm going to be doing my what's in my hospital bag and my baby's bag. So I'm currently 38 weeks and a day I believe. So I'm going to be giving birth any day now and I'm super excited. But I wanted to show you guys what I have in my bag because I've seen a lot of these videos and everybody has different things in them. So I wanted to show you guys what I have in my bag. So let's get started. We're going to start off with the baby bag first. This is um my baby's bag and this has all of his this has all of the baby stuff in it so i'm just going to show you guys what it has inside um this was a gift from my registry i think it was from amazon so yeah all right so i'm going to open up the bag the first thing i have in the bag is this little pacifier um i think if this is called like a nub yeah it's a wubba nub and it's so freaking cute i just wanted to bring it just in case because i know in the hospital they do give you pacifiers but i wanted to bring this one just in case um you know he likes it or something like that i don't know i thought it was cute um the next thing i have in here is a blanket so this is like a gray plush blanket and it's just like super cozy um for him like just to like put on him or like when we leave the hospital and stuff like that because they do the hospital gives you everything you need, but just so you can be comfortable, I suggest you bring your own things, your own blankets, your own stuff. So yeah, bringing this cute little blanket. And then I have some other blankets. This is like a little swaddle blanket, just so I can swaddle him and make him look cute because I do want to take pictures at the hospital. And I brought a couple outfits just because you just never know. So I'm going to show you guys the outfits. Like the baby could be born First of all my doctor told me that the baby Is going to be 8.5 pounds um, I'm trying not to believe that But He might be 8 pounds so yeah Alright so I have some outfits Right here I have I brought newborn Ooh, It's hot in here Hold on I need to turn the AC on Alright so I did Pack him some newborn clothes And then some 0 to 3 months just because you never know so I got him a couple onesies, so he has a few of these. Um, this little cute Nike hat. And this little set is so cute. What size is this? This is zero to three months. So this is super cute. And then I packed him some more shirts. These are zero to three months. Another white shirt. Just in case, I like to be extra prepared. And then um, these are the newborn clothes. So these are like just fits. So this is the top. Can you guys see? So that's the top. This is the hat, so freaking cute. So cute. And these are the pants. So that's one outfit, just in case newborn fits him. Um, he could wear that in the hospital. I think they don't let you wear put clothes on the babies, just because they're like they go into the room a lot and do a bunch of stuff. But just in case I can't get him dressed, I forget. Um, another one, see. So this one actually goes with the set I showed you guys, and look at what it says. Welcome home. So cute. And then he just has another outfit right here. So these are the pants, uh, this is the top, it's like a little sweater cardigan type of vibe, and then it has the shirt, and the shirt says welcome to the world. So that's super cute, and then I just paired it with this cute little hat, just in case I have, I bought like two options of hats, just in case I want to take different pictures in them, so those are his outfits that I'm going to be taking with me. And then I also packed him some socks. So these are some socks that go with the Nike hat that I showed you guys. It's just like these little Nike booty socks. And he has a couple pairs. I packed him just a couple more pairs. I packed him some gloves just in case. Because you know babies do end up needing them. Just in case I need them. And two other pairs of socks. And then in here I just have a whole bunch of diapers. I didn't have nowhere to put them because I just have diapers everywhere. 
So I'm just bringing these just in case like we end up needing them even though the hospital does provide you with them but yeah I have a bunch of diapers in here. Um, I will be doing a what to my baby bag once the baby is here so you guys so I can show you guys the bag and all the space it has. Yeah. So that's all I have in the baby bag. Now I'll go into my bag. My bag is kind of big and I'm not sure if I'll keep it everything in here because there's a lot of things that I'm going to be taking. Um, I'm kind of thinking about taking a suitcase. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think because I'm at that extra. But I just have it in my Supreme duffel bag. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys everything I have. So the first thing I have on here is my Crocs. I have them at the top because I still wear them. So I wear them every day and I'm going to put them on right after this video. But yeah, I'm going to take my Crocs because those Crocs are super comfortable. I could wear them to walk around the hospital if I do have to walk around the hospital to get up and go to the bathroom. And when I leave also. So yeah. So I'm going to show you guys my toiletry bag first. I'm not going to go in depth with everything. But I'll just show you guys what I packed. So I did pack my exfoliating scrub. I love this thing um, just to wash my face in the morning. This is like a little loofah or loafah, whatever you want to call it. So I could take a shower. Then I have, um, I bought like minis of everything. So this is just some body wash, some lotion. Um, this is for my eyes because my eyes get really dry because I do wear contacts and glasses. So yeah. I'm packing some of this then I have my facial spray my Mario Badescu I think that's how you pronounce it this is bomb after my facial routine because I am going to be taking that with me so taking that um, this is for my eyelashes so I do have falsies I'm um, not falsies I have last extensions on so I, I am going to be cleaning them and who knows how long I'm going to be in the hospital hopefully not too long but yeah, I am going to be cleaning them, so I'm taking this with me and the brush so I could wash my, my lashes. Um, I'm taking some cotton rounds and miss, how do you say this? And some cleansing water. So cleansing water and some cotton rounds so I could clean off my makeup just in case I do put makeup on. Or I just want to wipe off my face because it gets oily. Um, I'm taking my moisturizer with me. Um, I got a toothbrush and... I haven't put the toothpaste in here yet just because I'm taking the one from my house, the big one, because that's the only toothpaste I really like and they don't have it in a mini version. So I have in here some lip balm. You're going to need that. Um, I have in here some Q-tips. I had a little container for that, but I don't know where it went. But yeah, some Q-tip, some eye cream gel that I'm going to be using. And then right here, I have some lanolin cream, lanolin cream. This is for your areola, for your nipples when you start breastfeeding and stuff like that. I have some spray deodorant. I love this stuff, so I have, I got the mini one of that. And then I have my lip mask, my Laneige lip mask. This is bomb, and I know it's gonna come in handy. Even though I have the lip balm, this is just so fire. So if you haven't tried this, you need to. I'm um, taking some extra contacts with me just in case. Like I said, my eyes do get dry. And I'm taking my glasses as well. And then I'm taking a scrunchie with me. Make sure to take scrunchies or any hair things that you're going to need because you're going to need them. You're not going to want your hair down and stuff like that. I know you want to look cute, but it's not as cute as it looks when you're actually there. So yeah, make sure you're comfortable. And then I have this cap. So when I take a shower, I know my hair is going to be blow dried because I want it to be nice and laid. So I'm taking this when I do shower, I don't have to wet my hair. Okay, so in the back, there's a back pocket. Um, I have these nipple pads um, just in case like when I'm sleeping and there's any leakage. And then I have just these sample ones. These are just a one time use. And then this one is reusable. So I might use both of them and then, you know, end up washing this one when I get home and toss the rest. But yeah, that's all I have in my toiletry bag. All right, so I have my little makeup bag right here. And I don't, I'm not bringing a lot of makeup with me just because I know I'm not going to be in there doing a full face. Or maybe I'm not even going to be doing my makeup at all. Um, that's why I'm going to refill my last extensions. As you can see right now, they're kind of crusty. But yeah, I'm going to redo them this week. So when it's time to give birth, I still have lashes and they're kind of presentable. 
But I still did pack some um, wet towel lips just in case. Um, I have my eyebrow gel and I have my Fit Me Matte and Coreless Powder Foundation. This is a must if I do put on foundation. Um, I did bring my foundation as well. And some brushes. And then I have my concealer and my eyebrow brush and then my eyebrow powder. So that's basically all I brought. Oh, and my lash brush so I can brush out my lashes. So then I have these in the bag and this is just some pads and like those pampers, those grown up pampers. I'm gonna show you guys. These things are huge. But again, the hospital does give you these type of panty pampers because you tend to bleed a lot after you give birth. So I just wanted to buy my own because I do remember them not being so comfortable. But yeah, so I'm bringing my own just in case. And then I have my own pads. So these are like extra long. I forget the names of these, but I could definitely put them down below that way you guys, if you guys are interested, you guys can go ahead and purchase these. I'm taking my little bottle right here. Let's see if I remember what this is called because I'm not sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. This is the, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it, but they do give you one of these in the hospitals, but I do remember using it. And if you see how this is shaped, like it, it goes in and like, you don't have to like, the one in the, so what I'm trying to say is that the one they give you in the hospital, it just shoots out straight water because after you give birth, you cannot wash down there. You have to use this. And I'm not sure what the name is, but I'll put it right here somewhere because I don't remember. But yeah, this is bomb. I heard this is bomb. I haven't tried it yet. But as you can see, the way it squirts out the water, you put it in there and you clean up and you're ready to go. So I'm taking my own, even though they will give me one at the hospital. I probably won't end up using that one. And then I also have this Freedom Mom cooling pad liners. Um, I heard a lot of good reviews about this. So basically what you put on your panty, your um, pad on, you put some of these on your pad or like one and it keeps it like cooling and refreshing. So you definitely want this and I heard good reviews. So hopefully it does work good. And then in here I have some panties, some period panties. Um, these were also, these were sent to me by this company, Lil Ova. So I appreciate them and I hope that they do work as good as they seem. So these are pretty big. Um, I got them in an extra large. These are like some period panties and inside, like you don't need to wear a pad, but I am gonna wear a pad with them. But yeah, I have two of these panties which I'm gonna be taking with me. And I'll probably just take some more panties just in case, cause I'm probably gonna need more than two. I have my robe. So I've been having this robe for a really long time and I just thought it was a cute, just a cute, cause I have a couple robes. So I'm like, maybe I should just take the gray one. Um, so I'm taking this cute little robe with me. I have this pajama set that I bought at Target. And I did buy it huge because it was the only size they had and I really wanted it. I think this is extra large, that's why it looks so big. But it's the shorts and then it comes with the top, which is a button on top. And I thought this was cool just because if I need a breastfeed or anything, I could just unbutton them and breastfeed. Um, right here, I have my going home outfit. I'm just wearing some tights. I'm just wearing some tights, some regular tights. These are my maternity tights that I've been wearing like every single day. <laughs> and then I'm just wearing this um, shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt. And the reason why I picked out a long sleeve shirt is because the hospital gets really cold, so they'll tell you you're going home and then you'll just be waiting around to sign papers and stuff like that. So I want to be cozy, so I'm going to be wearing that. And then I'm just putting some, some socks on and my Crocs to go home. Because the hospital, I think it's like 10 minutes away, maybe 5 minutes away. So it's not too far and we're just literally getting in the car and coming home. So, yeah. So here I have this belly band that I bought at Target and i heard good reviews about it so i'm really excited i thought that i was gonna wear my waist trainer right after i gave birth but obviously that's not the case because you can't wear like something too tight or anything so i did buy this i believe it's like a medium large 
so I'm, ho I'm hoping it fits yeah it's a medium large so i'm hoping it fits and right after i give birth and shower and stuff i'm gonna be putting this on to just compress everything together and make sure like my muscles are going back to normal this is not like a waist trainer or anything but i heard this is really good for postpartum so that's what i'm gonna be wearing and then right here i have my nursing bra so this is my nursing bra and i love this bra because first of all if it's it gets smaller or big like I could put a smaller or bigger in the back which I love that and then I could use it to nurse because you can take out the boob right here and then if it's too tight I could put it down so this bra is bomb but yeah that's what I have in my bag and then I just packed up some extra socks just in case I need them I don't really like wearing socks because I just feel suffocated but I did pack that and then I have some sandals so these sandals, I think I bought them for a dollar at Walmart. So I'm going to be using these to shower at the hospital because I don't want to put my bare feet in the shower. And I also packed my camera. This is the little Insta film camera. You know what camera this is. <laughs> so I packed this camera and then I packed extra um, film just in case we need more because I do want to take pictures at the hospital with this camera. I feel like it'll be so cute and like for memories, like the old school vibe. So I did pack this. I guess that's about it. I do have a couple more things that I haven't packed yet, but I am gonna be telling you guys what it is just because I haven't put it in the bag yet. So I am gonna be packing a bunch of snacks. My boyfriend still needs to pack his hospital bag, which he's gonna bring just a bunch of clothes and stuff like that. And we're gonna be taking some pillows and some blankets. And what else? So yeah, some pillows, blankets, snacks. And that's about it. So this is everything I'm gonna be taking with me to the hospital. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about anything I did pack or if you have any suggestions about things I should pack, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.